What is going on guys, I'm Behost here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you on how to install Ten Centurio onto your VPS server. First of all you need to go to Google and type in Put T, oh not Put T, Put T. It's the first website on Google, that one here, and then you type putty.exe. I don't need to save it because I already have it downloaded and let me just open Putty. Okay, so once Putty have opened, you get your IP address from your panel, that's the IP address. And then I type my username, what is default is root, and my password. Okay, so now you have done that, you now go to, um, no, now you type in putty, apt get update. And then I'm going to pause the video here when that's happening. Okay, that has successfully finished. Now, once you've done that, you type but um, this command. Nope, no, not that. You, okay, first of all, you type apt get install cur. Also, the bash, com the command you need to use will be in the description below. And then click yes. Get your notepad editor up because we're going to need that in a minute. We don't need that anymore. Okay, and then you type that command here bash cur. And then map. Okay, so now you just wait for this to happen. Oh, is he? Okay, so select your time zone. Mine is Europe and uh, London. Okay, so. Type the web address you want. So mine is going to panel.shadowphase.tk. Yes. Normally it will not say okay. Mine have already added. I'm just going to show you on how to add it to mine. I'm using not a top level domain name. I'm using a free domain name for this. I I use dot tk. Basically the same principle. Just add a A level domain. No, A record. Sign in. Okay, so my .tk is now signing in, now I type hello Billy and then go domain for my domains. The principle of this would be it's pretty much the same, and then click your domain you want to manage. Go to um, manage domain DNS. And then you say um, panel, you type the URL, like panel at your IP address. So now that's done. You can now go to panel.shadowface.tk I didn't click yes, so I'm going to pause this while this is installing. Okay, the installation I've now completed. The installation I've now completed. You go to your party client and then copy this information here for full references. I'm going to open my Notepad document and then save it. The default username is set a admin, and then the password you put in this box right here and click login. Okay, so now to change your password, you go to change password. And then put the long password in here and change it to a password you like. I'm going to put mine as I'm the host. Your account have now been successfully changed. Now if I log out with said admin and then I'm the host, I have now logged in. Thanks for you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.